Hey friends, welcome to episode 2 of Origami Review, and today we are checking out Origami Dan Discord once again to see some amazing folds. I personally love seeing people's folds because it inspires me, so I hope some of these inspire you guys. Let's get into it. Alright, so there's been a lot of folds in the Hall of Fame channel the past week, so instead of breaking them down for a while, we're just going to try to go through and see a bunch of these cool folds. So. First off, we have by Alan. He did the Pegasus B3 by Kamiya Satoshi. And man, this looks great. Look, he's got some eye details, some wings. Overall good form. I can tell that he was looking at the anatomy of a horse while he was shaping the legs, the hooves. All around great fold. Uh, Alan's also got some really cool folds on his Instagram, so go check him out. I think it's, yeah, Alan r.origami go follow him on instagram very very cool folds all right next up we have the stanford bunny um and this is designed by tomohiro tachi and i'm pretty sure it used that algorithm um, that was developed um uh, there's a bunch of mathematicians that put together this thing so here's a crease pattern this model is just absolutely insane um like as you can tell that's ridiculous to fold so big props to the folder uh, I'm going to probably pronounce this wrong, but Xing Yi Ni, not too sure how to pronounce that, but amazing job. That's really cool. Um, it looks like Alex Mironenko reposted that. Very, very cool. Yeah, that that's a side of origami. Those folding like that, um, I think the proof was uh, you can make 3D objects, I guess, with some algorithm um, using these, like triangular modules um, in the paper really really cool all right let's see what we got next oh sweet okay so we got a fold by Aikun Dayo um, this is the caribou by Kamiya Satoshi use the Kozu Washi 75 centimeters wow this is really cool look at this so there's been a new newish trend of how to get eyes for mammals um, and a couple folders do it uh, like Reaper and Icoon and man, it just makes it makes them all look super super cool. Uh, not only does it have that, we can see it's got a lot of attention to the shaping of the mane, um, details on the horns. You know, um, is all around super great. Uh, proportions are on point. You got hooves. Excellent, excellent fold. Um, let's see, let's see. We got this. Raphael, we got a little post of um, an older fold to a newer fold. That's super cool. Uh, big improvements, Raphael. I can tell, you know, there's a lot of attention to the claws. It's much more dynamic. This just looks like uh, the old one looks like, you know, you might have seen a picture of one shaped. And then this one looks like he looked at actual swans. Um, and yeah, much, much better. Super cool. Let's see. Let's see. All right. Noah. Noah with an amazing greater kudu post uh, fold, I mean. And I'm actually going to pull this on Instagram since the bot didn't work. But this is really, really good. Um, Noah, he's been a huge fan of Wen Joe paper recently and uh, painted this back coated with acrylic, basically. Absolutely stellar job, just look. And yeah, again, one of the things that's really hard with mammals is getting the proportions of the legs correct without sh making them too short because as you fold you know the flap's going to get shorter uh, Noah absolutely nailed this one great job on the horns very very good job that is no easy model I think Shuki said it is one of the hardest in the book besides the Giganoto um, and all right right up next we got another awesome fold so this is uh, the T-Rex by Wardo and if you saw earlier, I, I believe Eduardo knows I'm recording this right now. So, yeah, he, <laughs> he left me a message um, knowing that he would be on the video. So go follow Eduardo. This is a really cool T-Rex design. Uh, Eddie underscore origami. Um, super neat design. Great way to get teeth with a pretty uh, you know efficient manner. It's not some crazy uh, folding sequence that you have to do. Um, and toes the claws it's got like a walking structure um we were talking and he showed us that uh he, he used like the skeletal structure 
um, to kind of base the shaping off of the model and just fill it out. Super awesome job. Great dot. Great job designing. Um, yeah, amazing all around. Um, and already from here, I can tell this is another Kim folder design. I think. Yep. Here we go. Uh, so this is <laughs> this is the wasp. Um, if, if you wondered how I could tell, it's just you know a lot of bird basing. Um, <laughs> This is his wasp. Uh, so he recently made a new Instagram. So this isn't a new fold, but he's reposting some of his folds. And man, this wasp is crazy. Um, so Kim Folder, we featured him also in the last video. Um, yeah, no, oh, this is this is this is crazy. Look, look, just oh my goodness, look at this color change. Like this just blows my mind. Blows my mind how this is like possible and how clean it is. Look how cool these color changes are. Bunch of details in the legs, bunch of t details in, you know, the antenna. Beautiful, beautiful color changing. This is this is probably one of the best color changed wasps um, out there. It's super cool. All right, so we're going to see what other folds we got here. I'm just going to scroll up. Oh, ooh, look at this. So this is the violinist designed by Hojo Takashi, um, folded by... Tapo underscore pota. Uh, that's their account name. But this is an interesting take. So they took a very artistic approach to this. Um, they made their own little scenery out of just other objects. And then look how cool the gradient is on this model. Uh, I think it's really cool. They chose to fold it in a sitting position. Um, this model already in itself is cool. So this is just a really interesting take, um, really creative take in folding this model. Awesome, awesome. That's super cool. Um, oh, look at this. So I believe this is from the Your Folds channel. So Pony Weather 2.0 folded Brian Chan's Stag Beetle. This is this is really good. Awesome job getting all the details in. Very clean and thin legs. Um, very sharp mandibles. I always love Stag Beetles with like giant mandibles. So super super cool. Antenna in a nice position. You could be hanging that on a wall and it'd look like a museum. All right, and up next we have Gonzalo Origami with an amazing fold of another Shuki Kata design. So this is the, is this the African element elephant, I think? Um, and wow, just look at the texture of the paper, super neat. This is where wrinkles in treated paper can really come in handy. It's just, you know, adds to the whole aesthetic that it's an elephant. Beautiful curving of the ears. You can even tell that when he shaped these legs, he didn't, squish or mush anything it's, it's still super clean um and man yeah it looks really good really really good got the nice eye there textbook fold textbook fold all right um looks like we have some eric schwazel folds so this is by zola let's see maybe this one is as well yes yes so this is daniel zota oh zota not Zol zola so daniel zota he's been doing some eric schwazel this is the Gandalf, um, and it looks like he did some of his own shaping in addition to just, just Eric's unique style. This is really cool. Um, you don't see this folded very much anymore, but you can see there's pleats and just all these details. Um, Eric Schwazel, if, you, if you've seen his, a lot of his actual folds, he, he shoves detail and all these types of things in his uh, model. So this is really cool to see. Uh, and oh yes, yes, absolutely. Okay, so this is uh, not a flawed artist, um, my boy Patrick. Uh, so I'm gonna open his Instagram. Yes. Okay. So Patrick, he worked on this owl. This is the owl by Katsuri Kyohei, the blackest and fish owl. And this is this is extraordinary. Just look at. All the extra details he added in here. I think he bit used a big piece of Wenjo uh, to be able to, you know, get all these feathers. This this is amazing. This is one of my favorite folds renditions of this design. I I've made a couple of these and super fun model. But yeah, look at the attention to detail. Look how sharp these claws are. Bunch of puffed out feathers. I love the way he did the face. The it kind of looks like it has some character to it. Um, really really phenomenal job. Didn't skimp out on the tail. The tail looks amazing. Um, I can definitely tell he studied some owls to, to fold this one. Um, yeah, all around, great job, Patrick. 
All right, so we're gonna switch over from the Hall of Fame channel onto this next segment, which I don't know what it's called yet, maybe like Voices Picks. Um, but yeah, so we're gonna start off with LEM. I'm not sure how to pronounce uh, his full name, so I'll just refer to him as LDM, but also is known by Milky on the Origami Dan Discord. Uh, here is his rendition of Asuna by, designed by Obelisk, except that he added a sword in the back, which is really, really cool. Um, and you know, this might not be you know the absolute cleanest Asuna fold out there, but I really like it because of the proportions. It's very much anime proportions, which is cool. And then LDM has just a great way of posing his humanoid figures. Um, you know, this is very, this shouts out to me, Asuna from Sword Art Online, if you've seen that anime. Um, but yeah, go follow LDM. He posts and designs really cool things. I'll kind of show you what I mean with another of his designs. This is Yei Sakura. Um, I think this is from a mobile game. And yeah, this just very, very unique. Um, just super awesome humanoid models. Um, but yeah, go check them out for some cool folds and just amazing all around. Um, next we have Bodo. So Bodo, uh, someone gave him the nickname Box Pleat Scientist. Uh, you know, I think that's accurate. This is such an amazing skeleton. I think this is one of my favorites of Bodo's skeletons. If you've never seen Bodo's folds before, um, he does a lot of dinosaur skeletons from one sheet of paper, which for me, I personally think Bodo is pioneering that aspect of origami. Um, he's got a lot of skeletons and they're all really cool. So this is a, a Sarkusaka skeleton. Um, if you've played Ark Survival, the game, you'll know it as a Sarko. Uh, super, super cool. Just look at these teeth. like. That's crazy. It's only a 56 grid, and then obviously the teeth, um, yeah, it's a partial 112s from 62 centimeters. So this isn't even, you know, too huge, but look how clean it is. All these ribs are thin. He, that pose is just, oh, it's so cool. Very, very menacing. And Bodo, he published a crease pattern, uh, Mountain Valley crease pattern. So if you want to give it a shot, go to his Instagram, follow him, Bodo underscore Ori, to check the crease pattern out. And he also made a really cool YouTube video about how he kind of designed it and went through the whole folding and shaping process. Absolutely stellar fold, Bodo. Um, I absolutely love this one. All right, and the last fold we got today is by the plant psychologist, also known by his real name, Brandon Wong. And what I call him, I just call him Plant. Uh, he's a homie. And this is his design, oh, not that one. Uh, this is his design which he did for, I think, last month's uh, design challenge on the Discord. I believe the theme was like forest or exotic, and he just straight up made a forest. This is super cool, natural color change. It's got a lot of trees. You know, we've seen trees with leaves. We've seen trees with multiple branches, with multiple leaves. This is like all of them in one. Um, super, super cool. It's even got the grass. Like, let me just go through some photos. Uh, you might recognize this uh, scale pleat pattern for the, the the leaves. I think it just looks great for branches. This is super cool. Definitely got the jungle forest vibes. Um, yeah, just look at that. You got the grass, you got a path, forest path. Uh, the, the trees are really cool. Uh, paper choice on point, the color change on point. Um, and yeah, it's just super, super cool. looks like he's got a rough crease pattern here, um, but hopefully he releases the full thing soon because this is super, super cool. Um, yeah, Plant's got really cool stuff. He's a great designer. I'll probably be featuring more of his folds later because I really love his designs. Um, and I'm going to see if I can have him on sometime. Uh, super good at designing. He made an awesome Orihime tutorial, so I think it'd be cool to kind of get to know what goes through his head when he designs these folds. Um, but yeah, awesome job, Plant. Really cool design. I love this one. All right, guys, well, that wraps up this week's episode of Origami Review. Let me know in the comments what you guys kind of want to see. Um, I kinda, I'm kind of just, you know, off the script here. Um, but yeah, give me some ideas, give me advice, give me some criticisms. Um, tell me how you like it, and just don't forget to subscribe. 
Uh, in my analytics, apparently 70% of the people who watched last episodes weren't subscribed. So that helps me out. I'll try to still do this once a week, maybe twice a week if things get busy. But yeah, uh, thanks for watching so much. I got some other videos planned. I just have to finish editing them. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. All this origami, all this origami, all this origami got me going kamikaze now. I'm